angry guy here, and women are shocked by how wicked they are to men. Women are shocked by how wicked they are to men. It's kind of interesting how bad things have gotten. I was actually looking at a comment posted by the Filipina page along with an, a picture. And Phil, uh, Paige is awesome. She's a great person. You can check out her channel. But so what I'm saying is, is definitely not referring to her. But just look at this. Imagine arguing with a man about how you want to be treated when you could just replace him with somebody who treats you the way you want to be treated because men are disposable. And then, of course, it goes on to say, how simple, never argue. You can teach them how to treat you right. They can't even treat themselves right. 100% facts, life, chicks be like, dude be like, grown folks. So it's kind of insane. You know, there you have it. And then Paige says, Daily shocker, Yelp, men are disposable? I can't comprehend. So it's intriguing because most women don't realize how poorly men are treated in Western society and how poorly women treat men, how women actually view men. And of course, there's, there, there's immediately going to be a slew of women who are going to be furious that I would even dare to talk about the subject, to show you this picture, to show you what the words that are actually coming out of the mouths of women. Sims will immediately jump in and say that not all women are like this. And this is a this is a form of, you know, this is a terrible thing. You shouldn't be showing this because it can, you know, can have negative ramifications for women and girls. I've literally had a woman jump in and say that to me, that this could have negative, showing this type of thing could have negative ramifications for women and girls. And I'm thinking to myself, bro, this is what women are saying themselves about men. I'm not saying anything. I'm just showing you what women are saying about men. I'm showing you what women actually think of men. I'm showing you how women treat men. And of course, they don't want women to, they don't want men to see this. And they don't even want girls to see this because they want to cover it up and hide the things that they are saying and doing. This is how bad it is because they want the status. They want men to be ignorant. They want men to, to just accept the way things are, the poor treatment that they receive. They don't want men to talk to one another about what's happening to each other. This is the reason why they don't like the manosphere. They don't like men coming together. They don't, don't like men having a voice. They don't like men having knowledge. They want men to be divided. They want men to just accept the poor treatment and, and, and believe that this is just how it should be. This is just how it normally is. It's not your, you know, even though a woman calls you disposable, it views you as disposable. They're not actually saying that you're disposable. They're saying that men who behave poorly are disposable. Like this is did not, I mean, once you start to understand women, you realize the games that they play and how they'll twist things immediately to deviate away from what they've actually said and done so they can take no accountability and face no social consequences for these things. It's, it, it's, it's crazy. But then, I mean, you can literally see this is the level of corruption of the modern day woman. And I, I've said this countless times, they don't like us. Women in Western society do not like us. And in every woman, there is a feminist. Feminism is, is not something that just manifested out of thin air. It was not something that some political group created or some government created. Feminism has always been around. Feminism is what led to the fall of the Roman empire. At the beginning of the Roman empire, they were thriving thriving. The average Roman citizen did not have to work and men were firmly in control of the family and of the family unit and had authority over the woman. And then guess what ended up happening? They did so well and society was thriving so much. Some, someone came up with the great idea, hey, let's introduce no fault divorce. And as soon as they introduced no fault divorce, like 50 to 60% of women began divorcing their husbands immediately immediately. And how bad did it get? Oh, let's see. You had women who were going to the Colosseum, getting into relationships with gladiators. You guys think I'm joking about this? You think I'm making this up? There's a show called Spartacus. I think it was Spartacus. And in the show, 
you know, like the queen is literally having an affair with a gladiator. I mean, come on, come on. This was the norm. This was the absolute norm, you know, that, that occurred once women were able to obtain no fault divorce and they, and they were allowed to divorce their husbands, take a part of their assets and, the, and, and, and do these things. You had a lot of women in the Roman empire that were going to the Colosseum, having affairs with gladiators and then pay, cause don't forget that these gladiators were, were, were basically, you know, they, they, they were property. They were, and they were fighting in the Colosseums for their lives. And these women were basically buying the freedom of these gladiators, deleting their husbands, and then and and then and then having long and then having relationships with these gladiators, off the you know living off their husbands' wealth. Like this is the this is the reality, this is the absolute reality of it. And there are some there are actually videos on YouTube where women are telling other women not to delete, not to control, alt delete their husbands, because this is something that happens a lot. And we don't talk about it. A lot of women control alt delete their husbands over greed. Guys, these people, they don't like us. They do not love us. Relationships have always been transactional between men and women. They have always been transactional between men and women. This is the reason why I say that, you know, for example, the only type of friend that a man should have, the only type of friendship a man should have with a woman is a situationship. Okay? Where there is physical intimacy, guaranteed physical intimacy, without commitment or obligation. In other words, the man is not required to commit to her. He is not obligated to have to, to do anything for her, but they can spend to get time together. They can they are physically intimate, but they are but but they are not, but he is not committing. There is no commitment on his part. Could a situation ship become a relationship? Sure it can. But and that's that, and that comes down to the man. But that's the only type of relationship. That's the only type of friendship that should should exist between men and women, because men and women cannot be friends in the conventional sense of friendship. The way a woman can be a friend with with another woman, and a man can be friends the way a man can be friends with another man. That is just how it is. And a lot of them don't want to hear it, but it's the honest and goodness truth. Women only want us for our toys. They only want us to you to, for for what we have and what we can give to them. The best relationship that a man can have with a woman, where he's the one who's getting what he wants, is a is a, is a situationship by default, a situationship. Because if you're not in a situationship, then guess what's happening? Chad and Tyrone, Ray Ray, Little Pookie, you know, they're all getting it for free, whatever they want it, whatever they want it. It's the it's the truth. Honestly, I think that you know they say that you know a lot of the best couples they start out in as friends and then they and then before into before they become intimate. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, absolutely. We should start out in a situationship before we even start talking about friendship. You know, we'll start out in a situationship. We can get to get to know each other in a situationship where there is physical intimacy. But I am not obligated to take you on dates to pay for your meals to do anything for you. We can hang out. We can be friends. You pay for your stuff. I pay for my stuff. But that's about it. That's about it. That's 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 friend. That's those are the grounds of friendship, because men and women cannot be friends, not in the same way that men can be friends. That a man can be friends with another man, and a woman can be friends with another woman. I'm just being real. I'm just being very very honest. You know, guys, but and even then, like I've said, and if you want, and even for those relationships, you shouldn't be doing those in Western society. Like that's something for outside of Western society. Men and women in Western society cannot even. You should not even. You can't even have a. You should not even have a situation in Western society. Absolutely not. Like there should be no because it's 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 just pointless. It is absolutely pointless. It's way too risky, and the experience is just going to be miserable. Because they are just out to get their bag right now. The level of desperation is so insane. I mean, you legit have these women right now, like the Tradcon women. Like this is just a hustle for them. This is literally this is one hundred percent a hustle. Okay, it's a, like the Tradcons. They're they're hustlers. 
They are hustlers. They are just they're, 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 they are no different than your typical 304. They're no different than your three zero than your typical three zero four. Why do I say that? Because just like the three zero four is you know wearing certain types of revealing outfits and all of these different things to attract the man, the typical track con woman is basically you know dressing up like literally in many cases they are over like some some of these track cons look like three like three zero fours are basically three zero fours posing as like you know as wise and they and they still dress like three zero fours. However. You'll have the other tra other trad cons who are like they're they completely cover up from head to toe to the point that it's almost like they're like it's almost like they're dressed like a traditional Muslim woman. I mean, even even more so. And it's like, what the heck is this? Why are you dressed like this? Like it's 97 degrees outside. You know, what have you ever heard of wearing a summer dress? Like you're you're really overdoing it, bro. And it's clear that you're just trying to, you're doing this because you're trying to. You're trying to attract a certain type of man, you know? And, of course, the guy has to be wealthy. Like, you know, he needs to be wealthy and have all of these different things. And then what's crazy about these same women is then they'll use the same crap that they use, that, that, the, that their sisters use, that, that are, you know, that, 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 are, that, are, that, are, that are revealing everything. When they get into a relationship, they don't want to be physically intimate. And, the, and, and you know, and they'll say the same thing. They'll, they'll say, oh, well, physical intimacy is... is the purpose of physical intimacy is for reproduction. That's what God created it for. He created physical intimacy for reproduction. It's for making babies. So there should be there's no obligation on the wife to be physically intimate just for lust for just for lust. We are taught to avoid lust. Okay? The act of procreation is solely for reproduction. Like this is what these women will say and do. And I want to ask you guys something. Think about this carefully. If she is like 20. 25 years old and she's married to you and this is the way that she's behaving and these are the things that she's telling you you do you really believe that she is that she's that she has no attraction and she has no desire for a man y'all are fooling yourselves y'all are fooling yourselves okay a lot of these women who claim that they're not being intimate and that they're Oh, I was a V when I got, you know, I was, I had never been with a dude when I got married and, you know, and all of this other nonsense, they're telling lies because they, they and in their heads, they believe it's true because they're like, they, they're, they're like, oh, because they're like, oh, I'm born again. So God washed it away. He restored everything. So that whole thing that happened in the past, like, you know, those, those, those 17 guys that I was physically intimate with, he just washed that away. That those 35 guys that I was in that, 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 that old person. You know, the person I used to be, the person that's not around anymore was like, that, that, that never happened. You know, because God changed it. God washed it away. He, he restored, he restored by chastity. Like this, this is how they absolutely think. And it's foolish. Like guys think that they get into a relationship with these women and they think that these women are not like suddenly they, oh, they, they, they just don't want to be physically intimate. Nah, they don't want to be physically intimate with you because they only married you for money and to be a provider. They hustled you, bro. They hustled, little bro, little bro, listen up, little bro. Yeah, I'm talking to you, little bro. They hustled you, little bro. Y'all hustle, little bro. Y'all hustle, all right? Poncho is clapping those cheeks when you're not around. While you're at work and you're working your butt off, Poncho is clapping those cheeks. When you can't reach her, Poncho is clapping those cheeks, okay? After he's, listen to me, he had a first, he had first, he, you know, he, you know he, he, he had his burrito, he had his burrito, she gets she, he had his bath. You know she washes his back when he, he gets into the tub. She makes yeah she doesn't she won't do it for you, but she but she makes sure to clean the tub for him. Yeah, so he loves to take he loves bubble baths. He loves bubble baths. Little Pancho loves bubble baths. So she gets the tub nice for him, and he gets in the tub. And she and he even has like a Robert Ducky. Yes, he does. And she brings a bottle of a bottle of of uh, Corona with a nice piece of lime in it. And she makes she keeps a case in the house for him, and it's ice cold. Even though she tells you that you're not supposed to drink, right? And because uh, it's ungodly, God doesn't God doesn't want you getting drunk. But it's okay if it's little Poncho. And she brings him his cold tequila. Or he just drinks him his tequila and his Corona, and he's sitting in the tub, and she's washing his back and washing his hair, and he is so happy, and she's giving him little kisses. And then afterwards, you know, he gets up and she dries him off like a baby. 
and he goes into the bedroom and lays in your bed, you know, while you're busy at work. And, you know, he's there enjoying himself and just relaxing and thank, and feeling how good it is, you know, to think that, you know, God, to think that all of this has been provided to him and he didn't have to do anything to earn it. And then she comes in and she lays down with him. After she washes up, she won't wash up for you, but she washes up for him. And they hug and they they they, they hug and they they look into each other's eyes. And then you know the love the love making occurs. Yeah, and and of and of course, and then and then and then they go to sleep. You know, they go to sleep. She falls asleep in little Poncho's arms. And you're met, you're sending her messages telling her how much you love her. She's not responding to you because she's because she's asleep. She's there. She's asleep. A little poncho is snoring, snoring his little butt off because he has sleep. He, he has sleep apnea. He needs a CPAP machine. He doesn't want to go for a sleep study. And she's been constantly trying to tell him that he needs to go for the sleep study because she wants him to live. He needs to be there for her and the and their future children because he's gonna be the father of those children because God has ordained it. Even though you're going to be the one raising them and providing for them, because you, you know she's he's going to be he will always be their father. Those will always be his kids. You all right? Because he will be the bio he will be the biological dad, and she will always and she will of course find a way to make sure that that he is always in their lives. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers and our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are shocked by how wicked they are to men. What do you think regarding this? I want to hear your thoughts on this. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.